Guys, you already know how to determine the molecular shape, am I right? After all, the shape of molecule can be applied to determine the polarity of a molecule. Let's learn more detail about that. First of all, what you need to know is about the bond polarity. The bond is said to be polar bond when there exists atom with different electronegativity in a molecule. The bond polarity is represented by a polar arrow like this. I use the HCl molecule as example to show a molecule with polar bond as hydrogen and chlorine are both have different in electronegativity in the molecule. You already understand the term of bond polarity, right? Next, we will focus on the other important term which is molecular polarity. In diatomic molecule, such as HCl, the only bond is polar, so the molecule is polar molecule. But in larger molecules or molecules with more than one covalent bond, both molecular shape and bond polarity determine the molecular polarity. In this case, we will use dipole moment or we can call it as mu as a measurement of molecular polarity. To understand more, let's look at the difference between these two examples, CCl4 and CHCl3. Both have the same molecular shape which is tetrahedral, but why CCl4 is said to be non-polar molecule while CHCl3 is polar molecule? As I mentioned before, the shape of molecules will have its part in determining the molecular polarity. In this part, I will explain more detail on how CCl4 is said to be non-polar molecule. Generally, molecules with basic shape which having the same surrounding atoms is said to be symmetrical. This condition is applied to CCl4 molecule. Since it is symmetrical, the bond dipole cancels each other. Thus, the resultant dipole moment is equal to zero, so CCl4 is a non-polar molecule. Now, look at CHCl3 molecule which has the same molecular shape as tetrahedral. But if you can see here, the surrounding atoms are not all same, make it unsymmetrical. Since it is not symmetry, the bond dipole cannot cancel each other. Thus, the resultant dipole moment not equal to zero, so CHCl3 is a polar molecule. Now, let's move on to a molecule with a molecular shape containing lone pairs. We will use PCl3 as example as it has three bonding pair and one lone pair. The molecular shape is trigonal pyramidal. The PCl bonds are polar and the three bond dipoles do not cancel each other. Make the resultant dipole moment not equal to zero. So PCl3 is a polar molecule. Other examples of polar molecules which are in the same situation are SF4 and BRF3. I leave them to you to explain the polarity of these two structures using the same explanation. There are a few cases involved the molecules with lone pair which is detected from the case that we discussed before. First, when it comes to a molecule having two bonding pair and three lone pairs which make it in linear shape. We have two situations here. First, when it has same surrounding atoms and the other one has different surrounding atoms. Let me use ICL2 and ICLF to make it clear about this. In ICL2, the ICL bonds are polar but since it has symmetric configuration, the two bond dipoles cancel each other. The resultant dipole moment equals to zero, so it is non-polar molecule. ICLF has different surrounding atoms. ICL and IF bonds are polar bonds and the bond dipoles do not cancel each other. The resultant dipole moment not equal to zero, so ICLF is a polar molecule. Same explanation with polarity of molecule having four bonding pair and two long pairs, which is square planar shape. First case is when the molecule has same surrounding atoms. Let's use SEF4 as example. The 
ATF bonds are polar but since it has symmetric configuration, the four bond dipoles can kill each other. For the second molecule, if I change one F here with Cl, the surrounding atoms are not safe, so it has become non-symmetrical in configuration. The XEF and XECL bonds are polar and the four bond dipoles do not cancel each other. The resultant dipole moment is not equal to zero, so it is polar molecule. Okay, we have finished with the molecular polarity. Let's move on to the next part.